Hey YouTube. All right, so here I am. It's quarantine time, but uh, there's always something to do, especially uh, car audio. At least that's what's keeping me sane. Uh, I have three kids here at home, wife, and it's uh, it's pretty tough with um, just being able to to educate them and to get them preoccupied uh, kind of they're kind of driving us uh, up the wall but we're doing our best they have they're pretty much being homeschooled now because the schools are shut down so uh, but that's not why I'm making this video I'm making this video because I had recently upgraded my alternator to a high output CES 240 and on this 2012 uh, four cylinder accord now they suggested on the instructions that you I needed a, a half inch belt shorter because the pulley the outer diameter of the pulley on the HO alternator is two inches as opposed to the stuck two and a half inches now uh, I didn't do the math of how much that sh much shorter it really is I'm sure there's a calculation for that it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna follow the instructions now outside of that I did I'm upgrading to a um, to lithium LTO so right now I have two AGMs an X uh, a D 3400 R and up front and the X P 3000 in the rear uh, yeah I have this comes with the ELD um, module and what that does is when it's it, it senses a load it will turn on the alternator so that it charges uh, other than that the for fuel efficiency purposes the vehicle turns off the charging and that's not good for the LT uh, for, for the LTOs for the lithium banks I'm gonna run one I have some more runs of OFC that I need to run to the back I only have one um, I never did a video of what my system looks like so I'm gonna do a little run through at the same time of what I what how my big three big four looks like uh, that way if you guys have any questions the first video I did about two years ago that I posted up was on four gate with four gauge and that was, I mean that was okay but I've since upgraded the uh, well all the wires all the wires, copper terminals in the front. So, hope you guys enjoy uh, what I'm trying to do, and I'm gonna start up my vehicle right now. First, I'm gonna pop the hood, so that you can hear the difference when it has a load. You can hear it kind of. You can tell that the serpentine belts kind of uh, jumping around. It's not. It's not solid. It's not tight. And I'll show you the gates belt that I got for it it's a what is it seven ribs I believe seven ribs um, I could only find the uh, R an RPM high performance this is like 60 bucks uh, on the RPM model but it was only six ribs I'm just gonna do the seven ribs that's since that's what it calls for and I believe uh, the half shorter which is around half shorter but approximately about 0.67 inches shorter which is fine um, is the same serpentine belt using a, a contour contour I'll, I'll look it up and I'll correct it on the description if need be contour 2014 15 I believe 2013 models so as and the gates belt is the K 070714 I believe um, the package says it's 72 inches and AutoZone's app says that the stock alternator belt for this one is 72.2. Well, I don't know. I don't know what it, what it's like. But then again, that was looking at a different type of a brand. I think it was a Continental, uh, where I I'm, I'm went straight Gates. And no, I did not check what the stock uh, Gates model, uh, what it called for. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, I did. Actually, did I think it was zero seven zero seven one five? I could be wrong, but I'll correct that in the description. All right, long intro. I hope you guys uh, stuck by, stuck with me, um, and.
and uh, I'll put on the description where you can start actually um, listening into the problems I'm, I'm having now with a shorter belt. All right. So a quick overview of what we have here. This is the D3400. These are the copper uh, terminal posts, screw downs, uh, and good old Honda, of course, you need to buy these as shims. At least use one shim for the positive since it always runs a little short, uh, uh, thinner. On, on the post, on, well, actually, this post is a bit wider than, um, than what these excess posts uh, are. So, therefore, if, if without the shim, it would wiggle all the way around. So, D3400R, that's getting replaced with a bank, uh, with the bank in the rear. So I'm gonna put a, uh, a, a battery delete here made out of wood, I've already made it. Um, it's just sitting there. So I have a run here. This is in addition to the, to the stock ground. So I have it back here, this is one. Here's the factory ground. Here's the one that I have. This is for the big four going to uh, snaking through. I have it here. I put it right here. I did have it before I changed the alternator out. I had it to this bolt. So I think this is a 12 millimeter bolt and this is a 14 millimeter bolt. Um, and for power, here it is in the back. Um, now, when I put this in, I noticed that this was a little thicker than the stock. So the factory uh, ring, I had to open that up with a uh, step drill, open up the hole, which is fine. I didn't mess myself up like I thought I was going to. Now this snakes around right here to this cheap um, voodoo uh, uh, set screw fuse holder. I, I don't like this brand. I suggest you don't use it. Like I have uh, some electrical tape holding it together, but this is this going to go away eventually when I put the battery delete I'm gonna get rid of this plastic box and I'm gonna have some more room here so I can drill down uh, fuses and whatnot um, this is gonna go away eventually this is a two what is it a 200 amp it has not tripped on me this is the power that goes back to the beer XP 3000 um, connected here uh, this right here I don't know if you see this is a 4 gauge going to my 4 channel uh, PDXF 6 but I, I'm gonna reroute this going from the rear ultimately I might I might need to, I don't know where I'm going to put the additional two runs of power and ground, uh, whether it be underneath or the same hole that I'm through the firewall that this four gauge is running through. I might use a step drill if I can get to it. It's right back over. God, it's a pain in the butt to get to. And it's, it's back here. You can't really see it, but it's back here in the wall. And then I'm going to put... Uh, widen the hole with a step drill and put a, a waterproof um, what do you call that oh my god I already forgot the word the, um, the pla a plastic waterproof I'll remember the word later but it's so that it doesn't touch the, the actual firewall um, metal sheet metal and you don't uh, get grounded out uh, it's uh, forget the name. Anyway, so here's another place where you can run a power through, which I had previously done, but I decided to take it out and go another route, go underneath. But you, I don't know if I could fit a zero gauge. I came up with a excess um, drop and hertz. Had a promotion on some closeout excess power. Um, why not? So I went ahead and I bought a spool of that, and that's thinner than the sky high that I'm running now but uh, anyway this this is pretty much a general layout of it uh, what we're gonna do is replace the serpentine belt I'm gonna get my somewhat of a breaker bar here here's a tensioner you pull towards you so that it loosens up so I need to reroute it first I'm gonna turn it on so you can hear how it sounds and then I'm gonna replace it so this is the before and after starting now. made a somewhat of a ringing noise right now. It looks fine because it's not under load right now. But that's going to have to be And you can tell once you start moving the car around. 
I'm going to change turn my wheel. No, I can't really hear it, but take my word. It doesn't make a noise. So. Might as well just change it out. Alright, so now I took it out. Just stock to the right. Gates to the left. Hopefully, there you go. I'm holding it down wrench so I can put some tension on it so you can see the difference between one and the other. So that little difference may actually make a difference. I made sure I drew that out before I took it out. So time to put it back in. All right, after a little, little bit of finessing, I finally got it in. So you wanna make sure that you pull, you can pull this back, you have enough clearance, you, you put this wire to your right of, of your uh, breaker, if that's what you're using. But um, I found the easiest way to doing this is putting the alternator in because it has a lip. And the tensioner, first, first you have to actually, you, you have to take it off. In order to get this, make sure you get the wrench on the inside of the belt or else you won't even be able to do that. Um, but once you get that, put this right back in, Take, slip this off, pull it towards you and just finesse it in until you can get in because it's very, very tight. You can only pull the tensioner back so much. Um, and that little bit uh, makes a difference to being able to put it in. Um, but it looks good. Looks like uh, it's time to rock and roll. All right, so after an hour <laughs> trying to get this trying to get this on which I, I i had put it on but unfortunately this little piece right here and the rubber uh the mount the motor mount uh, didn't allow me to pull the wrench back out from from here i didn't have enough enough room so i ended up in trying to figure out engineer okay well i'll put this and this together and I pulled it so it looked something like something like something like this you, you hold it and you pull it back and it worked just like that it gave me enough clearance unfortunately I wasn't I was you can't because there's no clearance once you put that wrench in you you have to put this belt on the pulley on the tensioner rather and then you have to make sure that this was already already in the alternator on the belt and the only clearance I found was the pulley the big round pulley on the bottom that's close to the crankshaft and AC compressor I was able to push it in used a little bit of this belt conditioner just to, for a little bit of lube oh my god what a pain in the ass but I already started it up. My brother-in-law, my brother -in -law, my father-in-law came to help me to pull that because I, like a two-man job. Beautiful. So the idea is I'm going to get a PCM. See, yes, so it's, it's a PCM is what they call it, but it's an ELD, electric load detector. It'll bypass, to be connected here, what it will do, it will bypass the, uh, and increase the voltage. You can get a 14.7 or 15.3, I think up to the 15.3. I heard that it won't turn your check engine right on. So that's, the, that's what I think I'm going to do. So stay tuned. I still need my zero gauge to come in and once the zero gauge comes in I will update um, the runs to the back or add runs to the back after I add runs to the back I'll um, well I guess I won't put my lithium in until I get that bypass in since it, if 
with this vehicle, if you're not running the, the fan or the lights, it'll drop it down to about 13 volts. And you have to keep those lithiums on a steady voltage. They have to be ideally at 14.5. 7 14.5 um, I think in 16 around 16 is, is a high that you, you want to have them um, but ideally around 15 so stay tuned this is gonna take another month maybe two to complete um, and I have my uh, I think this is my epicenter and the uh, the volt the the base knob for the C2400. Now, I like the fact that it has a clip indicator. I, I bought a base knob from SPL Cartel, the street leads that's gonna go to the back of this head unit out, and I'm, I'll be able to play with it here, and I'll have it here, then I'll mount this, but I'm not sure if I wanna run both. Uh, but I like the clip indicator, so I don't know, I spent, what, 55 bucks for a base knob that I'm running in the house right now off my um, home head unit. Um, I have a nice uh, Alpine Focals and uh, a uh, P300-12 uh, powered subwoofer in the house. Sounds clean. I, I, I love the way it sounds. I think it sounds, the highest sound way better than here. There's my SPX. Uh, I'm not going to show any demos here. I'm at the house. I'm, you never play your music in the, where you live. Don't cheat where you eat, guys or girls. Um, well, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope this wasn't much of a too lengthy of a video, but this is an update of from two years ago what I've already done and stay tuned more to come.